This is the third video for the creation series. To create the first two crafts, find them on the link. Last time, we talked about the first day, where God created light. Let's continue on the next verses. Genesis 1, verse 6 to 8. Then God said, Let there be something to divide the water into. So God made the air to divide the water into. Some of the water was above the air, and some of the water was below it. God named the air sky. Evening passed, and morning came. This was the second day. This means on the second day, God created sky. That's why we are going to make a sky wheel. We will be needing two paper plates, colored art papers, all the available colors you can find, bond paper, pencil, ruler, scissors, glue, permanent marker, hole puncher, single hole round head fastener, scrap pieces of cardboard, rubber bands, or a piece of string. If you don't have any paper plates, just find a piece of cardboard that is enough for two circles and a round plate. For those who will be making their own circles, get a round plate and trace it on your cardboard. Make two circles. Now that we have our circles and paper plates, we need to divide them into four parts. So get your ruler and your pencils. Find the center first and mark it. Now create a cross to form four equal parts. Do this for both circles. If you're using paper plates, be sure that you're marking the inside. Cut your circles out from the cardboard first. Make sure that all divisions on both circles are the same. Make some adjustments if necessary. Take one of the circle and cut one fourth of it like so. The same process goes for the paper plates. You know, if you look outside or just search the internet for the word sky, you'll see different and colorful images. But one thing is common in all of them. They all have clouds, whether it's in the morning, afternoon, or evening. During the second day of creation, God created the sky. However, there weren't any sun, moon, and stars yet. So we will just focus on making a beautiful sky with different colored clouds. Choose the sky themes you want to create. For this paper plate one, I decided to make a pink sunrise, a cloudy afternoon sky, red sunset, and a night sky. For the pink sunrise, the art paper I choose would be yellow for the background, two shades of pink, and bond paper for clouds. For the afternoon sky, I'll be using a bond paper for the background and two shades of blue for the clouds. Now, here for the red sunset, let's have the red art paper as background, orange and yellow orange for the clouds. Lastly, the night sky. I want the background to be black and the clouds to be violet and blue. Now that we have chosen our colors and sky themes, let's get the piece that we cut off from one of our paper plate. Remember that? We need to trace this for our background and a guide for the clouds. Let's start with the pink sunrise where we have yellow as our background. When we create the clouds, we will be layering them on top of each other, but they still need to be within the border of that piece of plate. For our clouds, we have two shades of pink here and bond paper, but we can also use the yellow art paper to add more effect to our clouds. Trace a piece of paper plate on one art paper. Draw your first layer of clouds inside. Let's have four to five layers of clouds. 
Let's take the other shade of art paper and trace the paper plate piece here again. Look at your first cloud and note that when we draw here, our cloud should be smaller and of a bit different size. The most important thing to remember is to make sure that some parts of the previous cloud can still be seen as we go further along with our layering. The third layer can be the bond paper. I'm still using the previous layer as my guide, making it a bit smaller. Another layer can be the yellow paper. This will show the reflection of the sky's color on the clouds. Before you move on the next skies, get your paper plate and determine where each theme will go. This will help us out with how the clouds will look like and where it will be situated. Another method you can use is to trace the shape of the previous clouds on the next layer. And later, when we cut it, we'll make it a bit smaller. Continue with the rest of your cloud layers on all your skies. It's cutting time. Remember to always be careful with the scissors. Cut all the pieces and lay them out together on the paper plate to see clearly how they will look later. Place your clouds carefully on the sides. We'll be gluing our background on our paper plate. Remove any excess parts from your clouds. It's okay to make adjustments as we go, meaning we can cut extra pieces. The reason we need some scraps of cardboard is to make the effect that they are floating. We will be gluing a piece of cardboard on every cloud like so and keep doing it until we place all our clouds together. Do this for the rest of your clouds. It's time to decorate the front of your sky wheel. The one where we cut a piece off, you can leave it plain or we can draw on it directly. You can also choose an art paper and glue it on here. If you do that, wait for it to dry and cut the rest. What I like to do is get the marker to write sky wheel on it. You can also put your name on it if you like. Doodle anything you like. In my case, clouds. And then after, color them. 
get the cutout piece. We will now use it and connect it to the paper plate like so. However, we only need a part of it. Cut it in half and remove the bottom part. You can glue it or use a scotch tape to secure it in place. I'll be using both to make sure it stays put. Take note of its center and mark it. Take some cardboard and we need to cut little rectangles. About 4 to 5 pieces will do to support our fastener. Get your puncher and we'll punch a hole on each little rectangles. After you've done that, we'll secure them together with tape. We'll punch another hole in the middle of the cover plate. Tape the small rectangles on the back and align the holes. Now get the paper plate and punch a hole on the top part. Take your string or your rubber bands out. We'll put it on the top part so we can hang our sky wheel on the wall. Mark the center again. If you have a big enough puncher that could reach the center part of the paper plate, Use that. If not, just use a cutter and punch a hole in it. Now ask an adult to help you with the cutter. Find your single hole round head fastener and we will connect the two paper plates together like this. Rotate the paper plate to reflect the sky outside. I'm gonna finish the other sky wheel for those who don't have any paper plates. I'm choosing clear sky, gray sky, purple sunset, another cloudy night sky. You can also do this one. The sky always changes and it contains different emotions and meaning to different people. Even in the Bible, the clouds and the sky are mentioned several times. Though they were written by different people through God's inspiration, they express the same theme all throughout, that the sky represents the greatness and glory of God. King David wrote in Psalm 19 verse 1, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. The sky speaks of hope, of God's love, power and promises to us. Matthew 24 verse 30 says, Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the peoples of earth will weep as they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Use the same process to put the front cover of the sky wheel. Decorate it and punch holes on it, or you can also just leave it at that. You don't even need to put the front cover if you don't want to. I'll leave mine as is, but I will still punch a hole on top so I can hang this anywhere I like. So in the second day, the Lord created the sky. We are done with our sky wheel. We hope that every time you see it or look up the sky, you'll remember the greatness, power, and promises that God has for each and every one of us. The one who created the sky is watching over you and keeping you safe from harm. Thank you for joining us on our third video for the Creation Art Series. Watch the first two if you haven't watched it yet just click the link on the description join us again next time look at the sky let your hopes up in prayer